is Logan here. And I'm Brianna. Today we are very happy to be your virtual tour guide and also show you some of the procedures you're gonna deal with in your everyday life. Welcome to the North Campus. A fun fact about the North Campus is that it was not always a part of the high school and it was once actually part of the middle school. This is also where students will be able to find their science, English, Spanish, medical, and culinary classes. You'll know if you have a class in the North Campus because your room code will start with the letter N. This is a one-way entrance to the North Campus, and you will also find blue and gold arrows along the ground that will help you navigate and make your way out and get to all of your classes. This is also where our library is located. Also next to North Campus is the Fine Arts Building. It houses the auditorium and features the band, chorus, orchestra, dance, and theater programs. Welcome to the Car Loop, Bloodhounds. This is located between the front office and the auditorium, and this is where parents will drop off and pick up their students every day. It is recommended that you use this loop and not the back parking lot. Next up is the Ag Building. Students, if you're taking agriculture this year, your building is located between the North Campus and the weightlifting room. If you have any questions, feel free to ask the administration on campus. Here's a look inside the Arbondale High School Gymnasium. It was named after former Bloodhound stand-up and NBA Hall of Famer Tracy McGrady in 2004 and was built in 1966. Welcome to the cafeteria, Bloodhounds. This is one of our personal favorite spots and also where you spend most of your time socializing with your friends. A change we've made this year is that we will have three lunches instead of the traditional two. You also only be allowed to sit four friends at each table this year. And while in line to get your lunch, you'll be spaced six feet apart. And if you weren't aware, breakfast and lunch are served free every single day at Arbondale High School. The building behind me here is our art building. Fun fact about this building is that it used to be the home of our media center. There will be one-way entrances and one-way exits to this building, and it is also known as the 200s building while looking on your schedule. Right now you're taking a look at the 500s building, home of the Digital Graphics Academy. Students taking yearbook or digital design will report to their classes here. Welcome to the 400s building, Bloodhounds. As you can see, the stickers on the door are encouraging you to social distance. If you have a reading class or you get sent to the choice room, this is where you need to report. This is our 700s building, the only two-story building we have here on campus. Here in this building, you will find your history and math courses. Some extra details and expectations you should know is when you're transitioning in the hallway, it's a one-way traffic pattern and students will only enter on one end and exit on the other. Follow the arrows on the ground to get to where you need to go. Right behind me, Bloodhounds, is the ROTC building. This building was once home to the Imperial Sun, but now houses our exceptional ROTC program. If you have ROTC on your schedule or are interested, this is where you need to be. Next up is the bus ramp. This is where you start and end most of your days here at Arbondale High School. One precaution we're taking this year is a staggered release schedule at the end of the day. So 9th and 12th graders will be released right before 10th and 11th. You can find your bus info on Student Portal. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call our front office or email any of our administrators and I'm sure they're happy to help you. I'm Logan. And I'm Brianna. Have a great rest of your summer and we'll see you around.